Hello, I'm Blessed MG. Today we're going to do a steak using the Emerola Gossier Air Fryer 360. I've never done this before, so we're gonna try it for the first time. While the kids are yelling in the background, so you know that's all you do. You cook with kids, cooking with kids. So this is what it looks like. We got our Lagasse Air Fryer 360, beautiful machine, all sorts of different functions. I went through these in uh, some other videos, but it does, it does it definitely replaces like at least four or five things in your kitchen. So we got our ribeye, boneless. We uh, seasoned it with uh, this time. I went ahead and did the Montreal steak seasoning. Uh, generally, I just do salt and pepper, but felt that maybe be able to get a little bit more taste with it, uh, the Montreal and the air fryer. I've never done steak in the air fryer, so this is going to be a first for me and for you guys. So just rubbed it with uh, some, uh, some of the seasoning, put it in the basket. We're going to stick it into the air fryer on the number two setting, which is the air fry dehydrate rotisserie and toast setting. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll stick it on the second level there. Voila. And we're going to go up to the side here. We're going to select the air fry. Yes, Evan? What would you like? This one? Pringles? Yeah. The red or the blue? The red. The red, okay. You know that I'm filming, right, Evan? Okay, we'll talk later. Okay, so back to the air fryer. We're going to stick this to the air fry setting. Temperature is 400, that's the max the air fryer goes on the air fry setting. And we're going to try 15 minutes. So we're gonna stick it on for 15 minutes. I'm gonna try to flip it in the middle and we'll see what it looks like after 15 minutes. All right, so let's play start. And then we'll get back to it. There it is. All right, gang. So it's about, it's been about half the time of the 15 initial minutes that we're trying it on. So we're gonna stop it, pause it actually. Then we're gonna take out the steak. That's pretty hot and that was kind of silly of me. Don't do that in your video. And we're gonna do a little flipperoo. So I think this is gonna need a lot more than 15 minutes, so. Because it's definitely not even close. So we'll do the 15 initial minutes and then we'll see. All right, there it goes. We did a flip at the seven and a half mark. And now we're going to go to the full 15 and see and cut it down the middle and see what we got. Only one way to figure this out is to do a little testing because I couldn't find anything online about, you know, cooking steaks in, steaks in the air fryer 360. The one thing that did come up said about 12 minutes, but I don't think that's going to be nearly enough. So we'll see what it looks like after 15 minutes. All right. All right, folks. Well, 15 minutes is definitely not enough. After 15 minutes in the air fryer 360, the steak is pretty raw in the middle. So what I'm thinking, another 15 minutes, another 10 minutes we're probably going to do. So we're going to stick it in there for another 10 minutes and then check in with you guys there. All right, let's do it. All right, guys. So it's been a total of 25 minutes. That's two, five instead of the original 10 that we put it in there for because at 15 minutes it was definitely not even close to done. So let's see what we look at 25 minutes. At 25 minutes it actually looks a lot better. So let's take it out and let's give it a cut and see how we stand. Alright so 25 minutes seems to be the magic number. So. What I got here is a one inch thick bone out ribeye and 25 minutes in the Emerald Lagasse Air Fryer 360 gives you a nice uh, medium well. Pretty juicy, looks like it kept all the juices in. So 25 minutes guys, Emerald Lagasse Air Fryer 360, 25 minutes 
with a flip in the middle should give you pretty good medium done steak. Now we're just going to let it rest for about 10 minutes and then we're going to cut it and have some delicious dinner. Enjoy!